What's up, everybody? Man, people are like, yo, you had to talk about Wilder, man. What you think, man? Why did you put out a video? You got to talk, see, though. What's up? Well, first off, good. <laughs> thank you for sending me the video. I've seen the video the moment it came out. Now, we can get into all of this. You have different scenarios, different situations for everything. But first, I want to thank all my Patreons, everybody who signed up for Patreon. I want to say thank you. Um, today, you're going to get another good treat today on the Patreon. You're going to find out if you're a VIP, my VIP uh, Patreon. You will find out why Dwayne Wade is the way he is. So, and why all this is happening. The way it is, it seems to be a shock to everyone else. Once you hear this, then you understand it, and you can put the pieces of the puzzle together. So, that'll be today for you VIP members. Now, let's get back to the... The situation at hand, which just happens to be this Wilder, right? Deontay Wilder put out a video. Well, he seemed to be, um, you know, I kind of got to agree with Andre Ward here. And I always felt like, why is he doing interviews? Why is he speaking out? But that's, that's a typical Deontay Wilder, you know, monologue um, that you hear. So... When you start hearing things like that, don't really mean nothing for me. I'm just glad that he's finding a way to get his confidence back. See, when you're a power puncher, normally you go through a situation where, you know, things are different. Power punchers go through this a lot. They go through changes. They go through different, through different modes. Um, once they get humbled or someone beats them, the whole spectrum change. Now all of a sudden it's, this isn't right, or 
That isn't right. My gloves are too tight. I don't know what's going on here. You know, it's it's just all the different things and they try to put on a facade and they fall apart. Because now other people and other fighters are not afraid of them as they used to be. It's like, oh, we saw him bleed. He's beatable now. So, you know, it's, it's an entirely different scenario for Wilder because he hadn't really been on this side of the, of the wall. But I just believe he's trying to keep that confidence. And that's what the video was really about. They show his supporters, no, we coming back and, you know, and talking, doing one of his monologues just to let him know, you know, I'm back, I'm still wilder, you know, giving that confidence, get behind. But as you notice, you didn't hear, boom, squad! You ain't get that. Why you didn't get it? Why you didn't think you got a bomb squad champ? Why you didn't think you got one of those? One of his exuberant yells. Hmm? His confidence is rattled. Now, let's speak on this glove controversy. Okay, let's speak on it. Because this is the first time I've even seen anything like this. And I held off on talking about it because I wanted to see it from different angles. People got all this technology to where they can make something look like something that wasn't even happening. So you can't jump off the cliff as soon as somebody show you something. Henceforth, this is LeBron James at the funeral, at the memorial thing. Um, you got to kind of wait and see it from different angles and see different things. And watching the fight, it's hard to tell. It does look weird. I would not kid you, kid you. It does look weird that he's doing that. Now, he could be open in his hands because Tyson Fury has big hands. But it's, it's one of those things that you really, it's hard to tell sometimes but if that's true his hand is not all the way in the glove and he's fighting that way and he's using a wrap he could be suspended not only stripped but suspended but no commission right now would say we dropped the ball but you look at that the majority of the tape is from the first fight where he allegedly did this tactic in his corner. All right? Now people say he did it in this fight and it was a difference. But in the first fight, he got dropped twice. So it really didn't, he didn't, he didn't look like he really hurt. Didn't really like he hurt uh, Wilder. 
He threw a lot of he threw a lot of straight punches. He threw some hooks, but he threw a lot of straight punches too. So I it's hard to even tell, man. I I really cannot gauge it. If he did, it's egregious. But if it is a situation, hopefully when they had a fight, this makes enough noise to now people can talk about it and people can go in there and and get something done about it. That when the next fight happens, people are going to check for it, like the commissions. I'm going to call the Las Vegas Commission, which is hard to get a, a hold of. I'm going to call the New York Commission. They're not going to care, but still, I'm going to put the calls in. Because I want to make sure everyone's on alert to look out for these things. You know, it's all about the safety of the fighter. Like with Charlo. Him mixing bottles in the corner. His team, rather. It's all about the safety of the fighters. Now, what if he hurt Tony? And then now, all of a sudden, you see an all these switching the bottles. But it's all water. But we just want to play bottle root. Bottle switcher root in the corner. No. No opponent in their right mind would believe that scenario. And like this situation, what do you think Deontay Wilder is going to think in his mind when he sees that? When someone shows him the video of those gloves, now in his mind, he's been cheated out of something that was rightfully his. So now the whole attitude is going to change. Right? And believe me, this is going to be something they're going to handle behind the scenes because someone probably dropped the ball. And they're going to make sure his hands are in the gloves, which I don't understand. If someone in your corner, man, is there, that's his job. That's what he needs to do. You know what I mean? So, it's like this. Take care of yours. Don't worry about anything. And everything should work out. Let the commissions do their job and your team do their job. Now, as far as Mark Breland, from what it, somebody told me that Breland's not fired, He's just not talking to him right now. He just might not work. He didn't say he was fired. He might not work the corner. I'm like, oh my gosh. Everybody's outraged about Mark Breland being fired because we're going off what Deontay said in the interview. It's going to keep him around. He's not going to fire Mark now. I don't think so. Not after all this. Because if you fire Mark Breland now, you're upsetting a lot of people who already feel trainers don't get what they, you know, they look like, oh, now you lose. It's, it's time to get rid of the trainer. It's time to get rid of everyone. And Andre Ward, man, he is relishing in this. <laughs> Any? Andre Ward is really digging in. Andre Ward. Ward came out guns blazing, didn't he? What Andre Ward say? Andre Ward came out and said, uh, this happened to me. 
when the bully get bullied or the punch hit, once they start losing, first thing they do is come out with some excuses. Then they want to fire the trainer. I know all about it. <laughs> Comparing Wilder to Kovalev. So that's the same thing Kovalev did once he was defeated. Interesting. Well, anyway, I spoke enough. So I'm out. Y'all tell me, do you agree with my assessment of this situation? Let me know. I got to put in the calls to the commission and see what I can get and see if they're aware of the situation so that next time Tyson Fury has a bout, they will make sure his hands is all the way in the glove. So, moving forward, I'm out.